Hey y'all, it's me Caramel and I'm here today with a Let's Chat video. Before I get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, comment, and also turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. So I'm making this video because I'm irritated. I'm upset. I am going through so many mixed emotions and I've been asking God to help me manage all of these emotions because I want to be the best believer in him. I want to be the best daughter. I want to be the best mom, the best wife, friend, sister, aunt, cousin. I just want to be the best version of myself. Sometimes I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like I want to scream. I want to just belt out, hoping that all of these heavy, deep-seated emotions could just leave. And I know that like I'm finding out more about myself as I'm walking with Christ and realizing that a lot of the old spirits and the old secular things about who I've been for so many years, I've really done myself a disservice. And I'm sure I've offended and done things to other people who may have forgiven me or they may still be living in whatever emotions they're trying to cope with. I just know for me, all of these dark, heavy places, I'm just asking God, where are you? Like, why do I feel... So I don't, I don't want to use the word forsaken, but I feel like I'm seeking and I'm not hearing from God or maybe if I am because I'm not built up enough in him, I'm questioning what I'm hearing. That's probably more it, but y'all, I just feel so alone. I feel so isolated and it's like no matter who I'm around, there's this empty kind of feeling because I just feel like some of them are not matching the energy that I now have because I'm choosing to live my life for Christ. I'm, I'm not perfect and I'm not professing to be. I just want to be better every day. I do. I've started to set clear boundaries for my encounters. And what I'm noticing about certain individuals, because I've let people, I'm not going to say I allowed them, but because people, I guess, have always regarded me as being somewhat of an empath. Like I, I take on others' emotions and I try my hardest to dissect all that other people are experiencing, even to the point where I've kind of forgotten about myself. And now I'm realizing all of the time I wasted spending those precious moments dealing with things that were even too big for me I could have been more built up myself in the things of God. And I, I don't regret it, but I just wish that I had more God back then while I was going through those places. So now that I've started to set clear boundaries, I feel like people now don't know how to handle me. They don't know how to respect what I'm requesting and expecting of them. And it's not anything to me that's unreasonable. It's just, I'm just tired of people feeling like they can play with me. Am I wrong for feeling that way? Am I wrong for wanting people to know like <laughs> the carousel has stopped and it's time for the riders to like get off? Am I wrong, y'all? Like, I... I'm not trying to be mean about who it is I am at this point. I just want people to understand while I am saved, <laughs> I'm not soft. 
You can't just do what you want to do to me and think because I love God, I just have to keep allowing you to violate me. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be the type of person that when I get angry, I'm going to curse you out and then I'm going to ask God to forgive me. I'm that, but I don't want to continue to be that. And so I God, please. Please. Even when it comes like to my children, I have three children. All of them are over the age of 21. Two of my children, they probably think the worst of me. And, and, and I'm not going to tell you I don't care because I do. But I know the truth about what has happened. And everybody has their own perspective. And it's okay. But the line gets drawn when disrespects start to enter the room. I'm not about to let you disrespect me. You can tell me how you feel about things, how you, you know, would have handled things if it were you, whatever. But you're not going to disrespect me. To, I mean, if that means we don't talk, I give it to God. I'm not about to allow what I gave birth to, to stand in my face or rather on the phone and talk to me like I'm somebody on the street. I'm not dealing with that. I refuse. Before I let you violate me like that, before I provoke my children to wrath and before I let you dishonor me with the lies that the enemy has given to you, I'd rather just we not talk until somebody's strong enough, right? To move past that flesh. That's what I'm dealing with now. Battling with making this flesh die. And I know I can't do it by myself. I'm not trying to do it by myself. But sometimes, y'all, I just feel like screaming. Is that you? Are you somebody who just feels like the world is on your shoulders? The weight of the world. And... You know, it makes me think about this cartoon. It's a it's a it's a Christian cartoon where the character goes to God several times and the character asks God to shorten the cross because the load while they're journeying just feels too big. And so because God loves us, he shortens the cross. And we keep journeying along and we get to a place where everything feels so big and the load feels so big and we go to God and he shortens the load. Well, it comes to a place in that journey where now there's a gap in, a, in, in the road and we need to be able to lay that cross down to get over. But once we lay it down, we realize the cross has gotten shorter over time because of the requests that we've made. Now we have no way to get over. So while I'm learning how to better manage my emotions, I also realize that sometimes instead of wanting God to give us the elevator, we got to be okay with taking the stairs. If this message resonates with you, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. I'll see you in the next video.